So, what is an operator in JavaScript? Operators are special functions that take two parameters and return the result. You may already know some of them, especially from your math class. At first, I'm going to talk about arithmetical operators. When we see, for example, 5 plus 5, we all know that we have to add those numbers because plus sign generally means addition and the result is 10. Now, let's see what happens in JavaScript. I'm going to create variable a and then assign to it 5 plus 5. Let's run it to the console. So, as you can see, we have 10. So, how does the JavaScript engine know that it has to add these numbers? The reason is that there is already built the function which is automatically called when the JavaScript engine sees the plus sign. Then it adds the numbers and gives us the result. In the same way works subtraction, multiplication and division. Sometimes we use multiple operators in one statement, like so. I'm going to create another variable and let's assign to it 5 plus 5 multiplied by 5. So in this case you may think that first the JavaScript engine would add 5 to 5 and then multiply the result by another 5, which then will output 50. If we run this code to the console, then we will get 30 because it follows the same rules that we have in math. First it multiplies the numbers and then performs the addition. If we enclose the first operation within parentheses, then at first the addition will be performed and then after that the result will be multiplied by 5, so eventually we will get 50. Alright, so those signs, I mean addition, subtraction, multiplication and division are considered as arithmetical operators in JavaScript. Besides them, there are other arithmetical operators which are not quite frequently used, so we won't refer to them. Okay, let's move on and talk about another type of operators, which is comparison. Comparison operators are used in logical statements to determine equality or the difference between the values. So they are used to test for true or false, which are Boolean values, as remember. In JavaScript, you will meet these situations very frequently where you have to make decisions, choose something, compare values to each other, and so on. For that, you should really understand how comparison operators actually work. I'm going to create two different variables, number one and number two. Let's make both of them 10. In order to compare the equality of those variables, we can use double equal operator which only compares the values, but it doesn't compare the data type of the values. I'm going to work in the console. You can test here anything you want. So if we write here number one, double equal to number two, it is obviously true because the values are the same. Now let's change the type of one of the values and write it as a string. If we run again the statement, it should be true because as we said, this type of comparison operator doesn't compare the data types of the values. The double equal operator is not actually quite safe because it may cause some unexpected bugs and errors. Therefore, we need something else, something like strict mode. And actually, it is a triple equal operator, which compares not only the values, but also the types. Let's prove this. Write number one, triple equal, number two. You see that it's false because the types of those values are different. The value of the variable number 1 is a number and the number 2 is a string. So I recommend to use the triple equal comparison operator in practice because it is safer than the previous one. Alright, let's go ahead and talk about other comparison operators. Double equal and triple equal operators have the opposite ones, not equal and strict not equal which are written with exclamation marks and they work in a similar way as the previous operators but they give us the opposite values. 
So if we check number one not equal to number two, it will be false because it's the opposite. When double equal operator gives us true, then not equals gives us false and vice versa. The same happens with strict equal and strict not equal operators. If we write number one, then strict not equal number two, then we will get true. All right, so that's all about arithmetical and comparison operators. In JavaScript, we have the third type of operators called logical, but we will talk about it a bit later. Now I'm going to move on and discuss one of the interesting topics in JavaScript basics called type coercion. We already know what kind of data types exist in JavaScript. And now let's see how can be coerced one data type into another with the help of operators. So type coercion means that a value from one type can be converted into another on the fly. Let's see what it exactly means. I'm going to create the variable a, which is going to be equal to 10 plus 20, and then run it to the console. It's definitely 30, and the type of the result value is a number. You see the color of it is purple. Now let's enclose 20 within quotes. As you can see, we have 10, 20 in the console. So let me explain what has happened here. JavaScript engine found the plus sign in the statement. And you know that the plus sign belongs to the arithmetical operators. But at the same time, it works with string values as well. It concatenates them. For example, we can concatenate multiple string values like so. I'm going to create another variable, b, and assign to it hello plus there. And then run it to the console. So as you can see, we've got here hello there, which is a string value. All right, let's go back to the first example in which the JavaScript engine had to decide to convert either 10 into string or 20 into a number. Actually, the creators of JavaScript decided that in this case, 10 should be converted into a string value, and this whole process is called type coercion. JavaScript engine has coerced 10 into a string, but the key point here is that we didn't ask for the engine to do that. When the JavaScript engine saw this statement, it automatically coerced the number into a string. Okay, let's see what happens if we use another arithmetical operator. Let's say multiplication. You see that we have 200. If we look at this number, we will find that it has a purple color because it actually is the number. So the JavaScript engine has coerced 20 into a number because multiplication is an arithmetical operator and it is used with numbers only. All right, let's consider another case. I'm going to create new variable c and then assign to it 10 plus 15 plus a. Then run it to the console. So we've got here 25a. Now I'm going to place a before 10. So now we have a, 10, 15. We got different results in both cases and it seems to be weighed, right? Let's explain what has happened here. The JavaScript engine reads the code from left to right. So in the first case, it has found numbers with the plus sign and has added them as the numbers. So the value became 25. And after that, it has coerced it into a string and we got 25a. As for the second case, the engine saw the string at the beginning of the statement and then it has coerced 10 into a string. So we got a 10 after the first operation. In the same way, it has coerced 15 into a string. Therefore, we got the string value a 10 15. Remember that all of these things happen on the runtime, I mean on the fly. Type coercion is a kind of odd process, so you should understand it well. All right, type coercion occurs with comparison operators as well. I'm going to write in the console 5 
triple equal 5. It is true and there is nothing surprising here. Now I'm going to write 5 triple equal to 5 and then again triple equal to 5. So from a human perspective you may expect here the value true but we have false instead. It is kind of weird, right? Let's figure out what has happened. 5 triple equal to 5 is definitely true and true is a boolean value. So we got true after the first triple equal. After that the next triple equal has compared the boolean value true and the number 5 and we got the result false. Make sense? Actually, this is what happened on the fly, true, triple equal to 5. Generally, the boolean values can be coerced into numbers, I mean that the value true can be coerced into 1 and false into 0. To prove that, I'm going to write true, double equal 1. As you remember, double equal compares only the values and not data types, so here we have true. The same happens with the false if we compare it to 0, then we will get true. But in the case of triple equal, we have the opposite. So if we compare true and 1, it should be false. And in case of false and 0, we will get false as well. Alright, so that's it about type coercion. Now I'm going to move on to the next topic and talk about the conditional statements. When you write the code, almost every time you want to perform different actions for different decisions. For that we frequently use conditional statements. In general, the conditional statement is the part of decision making in JavaScript. The conditional statement is a statement that will evaluate the condition to be either true or false. Almost every programming language uses conditionals and JavaScript is no exception. When you want to execute the block of code if a specified condition is true or false, we use if else statement. Alright, let's go ahead and create the variables. I'm going to call the first one kid and let's use here the name that can be either male or female. For example, Alexis. Then I'm going to create another variable, gender. Let's make it male. Now let's go ahead and use the if else statement and check some condition. So in order to create the statement we have to use keyword if followed by parentheses in which we have to insert the condition. Let's compare gender and male. So the condition should be followed by curly braces in which we have to insert the block of code. I'm going to run to the console kid plus is my son. So if the condition is true, then this block of code will be executed. If we save, then we will get Alexis is my son. Let's use else statement. For that we need keyword else, followed by another block of code. I'm going to copy this line of code, paste it here and change son into daughter. Again, we have Alexis is my son because still the condition is true. If we change the gender and write female, then the condition will be false, the block of code inside the if statement will be skipped and the code inside the else statement will be executed. We have here Alexis is my daughter. In general, it's not necessary to use else statement, it depends on whether you need it or not. Alright, sometimes we need to make a correct decision out of several conditions. This is the case when we need to use an advanced form of if-else statement and it is called if-else-if statement. There is nothing special about this statement, it is just a series of if-else statements. To create an else-if conditional, you need the keywords else-if followed by a condition in parentheses and the block of code inside the curly braces. You can write multiple else-if statements as much as you want, but else should be only one. Let's go ahead and create a variable. I'm going to call it prof and assign to it the value teacher. 
Imagine that we want to get the relevant descriptions for the multiple professions. For that, we need to use several conditions. So if profession is teacher, then I'm going to log to the console prof plus teaches students, then create else if statement and compare profession to composer. So if this is true, then I'm going to log to the console prof plus creates music. And finally, I'm going to use else statement in which I'm going to run to the console professions do not match. So if we run this code, then we will get teacher teaches students. That's because the first condition is true. Now I'm going to change the value into composer. Now we have composer creates music and the reason is the same. Let's change the condition in the first if statement and instead of the teacher write the same value composer. You see that both conditions are true. You might expect to get both results to the console. So let's see what happens. We have the result from the first if statement. That's because as we already said, when the engine finds the true condition, then it terminates executing all the remaining statements. All right, now change once again the value of profession into, let's say, engineer. You see that the professions do not match. It means that all the conditions are false and else statement is executed. Again, remember that we can use it only once. Okay, in order to check the multiple conditions simultaneously, in JavaScript we can use another type of operator which is called logical. The logical operators are used to determine the logic between the data. We have three types of logical operators. Logical AND, which is expressed with two ampersands. Logical OR, which is written with double vertical bars. And logical NOT, which is an exclamation mark. Let's consider how each of these operators work. I'm going to use another example. Let's create if statement and insert here the following condition. 5, triple equal 5. Then use logical AND. We need two ampersands. And then 4, triple equal to 4. So if this condition is true, I'm going to log to the console. Condition is true. Then let's use else statement and run to the console. Condition is false. So as you can see, the condition is true and the reason is that 5 triple equal 5 is true and 4 triple equal 4 is true as well. Therefore, the whole condition is true. At first, the JavaScript engine compares the numbers and after that it checks if the condition is true or false for logical AND operator. If we make one of the conditions false, for example, if we write 5 triple equal to 4, then the whole condition will be false and we will get condition is false. The difference between logical AND and logical OR is that if one of the conditions is true, then the whole condition will be still true. So you see that the condition on the left side is false but the condition on the right side is true and that's why we get condition is true. Logical OR operator gives us false value when both conditions are false. Now, in this case, both sides are false and therefore the whole condition is false. The last logical operator, NOT, gives us always an opposite value. If the condition is true, then returns false and vice versa. So if we write here, NOT, 5 triple equal 5 then we will get condition is false okay so that's all about the conditional statements next i'm going to move on and discuss one of the most important topics in javascript and actually in every programming language let's talk about functions